Hello, hi everybody. How are we all doing today? Mm. So, today is my last live for a bit. I might do some odd ones, but this is my last regular one as um, I get writing my next book. So, um, I'm Sarah Parkinson. I'm a children's author and illustrator, if you've not seen me before. And um, I've written two books so far in my series. I've written The Shoe Foxes and Dragonfly Pie. Um, and my next book um, will be coming out in November, so I need to get cracking on it, really. Um, so I'll have to stop the, the workshops for now. But that's okay. We'll be get, coming back to doing some more, um, doing the odd one later on in the year um, for special occasions like Christmas and Halloween I'm thinking might be quite fun so you have to let me know when the best time will be to do that I'm thinking the weekend um but yes um so today we're going to be doing sea creatures <sighs> very exciting um so as I have done the illustrations in my books um I like to do the drawing workshops as well as the story story writing workshops um, and I'd like to see who is watching today. Oh, dearie me, hello. Let's get some comments on, say hello. Oh, how are you kids? I can see some people are watching. Hello, who have we got? Names and ages would be lovely. Oh, Millie and Hayden again. Lovely to see you. Who else have we got for the last one? <laughs> Oh dearie me, so we are going to be doing, uh, let's let me think what we're going to be drawing today. We are going to be drawing octopuses, not octopi, it's octopuses. I felt I need to, to correct that. Um, we're going to be doing big blue whale, I'm learning some interesting facts. And we're also going to be doing some little fishes and then some little bits of sea lice, some little weeds and things that you can do around your picture so you can get some really good sea life pictures on today uh who else have we got so we've got louisa who's six of course i know you louisa lovely to see you um we've just had notification that your books will be delivered this afternoon we'll miss you <laughs> we'll miss you looking forward to the books thank you so much for everything jessica near dudley i'm so excited that you've got the books you'll have them landing on your doorstep <laughs> you can get those on Amazon, anybody who hasn't got them already. Thank you very much. Very much appreciating it. Hello Zoe, hello Louisa, hello Sophia, hello Viv, hello. We've got Isaac six and Rosie four. Nice to see you guys again. Lovely to see you. Uh, we've got Will and Sam. Hi Will and Sam, lovely to see you. Hi Chris and Kel. Um, who else have we have got? We've got, oh I've only just discovered you. My daughter Phoebe, age nine, is watching. Hello Phoebe, lovely to see you. Aww. Very exciting. Oh, oh, I'm looking so looking forward to seeing you. Uh, Beth Ann, age seven. Um, now is it Iman, who's, who's with Arm, uh, Arm there as well. Lovely to see you, Iman. We've got, oh, well, who else have we got? We've got Charlotte. Hello, sad that it's the last day. This is the last workshop, but we are excited. I'm glad you're excited. We're going to make some great pictures today. Nice and easy to follow. Really good ones to follow. And we're gonna, we've got some really interesting facts. It's been really hard picking which facts to tell you because they're all that there's just so much to learn from um from under the sea it's ridiculous so many facts uh henry and george say hi i'll be i will so miss having your stories and and pictures henry and and george's pictures have been gorgeous as well caitlin you've been doing such wonderful drawings for me as well haven't you um got nathan from stand sander stead we've got immy and holly we've got Sophia. Safira, hello Safira again. Um, oh, and thank you for the birthday I mentioned last week. Not a problem. I hope you had a lovely, lovely birthday. Um, and then there's Alana and Curtis. Hello. Oh, God, a spelling of that name. Uh, Isabella and Harriet. We've got Harriet in Warrington. We'll miss your workshops. Thank you for doing these in lockdown. Not a problem. Absolutely not a problem to do these workshops for you. So let's see what we're going to do. Um, shall we get drawing? Shall we get thinking? Shall we get doing our finger exercises? We don't want to miss those out, do we? Let's do some, let's do some funky moves today. <laughs> so I want you all kids, grown-ups, make sure you've got your cups of tea. Leave the kids with me now. We're going to get some great drawing done, okay? So let's do some, let's do Eye of the Tiger, some Rocky with our fingers. <laughs> let's get 
them all warmed up and ready to go. We're going to start off with a swirly, swirly octopus first. Make some octopus fingers. Can you do octopus fingers? You have to do eight. <laughs> eight tentacles that they have. They're very clever octopus, octopuses. Oh, Henry says he'll miss your workshops too. Oh, not a problem. Oh, it's been so, it'd be so lovely to get all your, of your drawings. I'd love to see your drawings from today. So please, 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 parents, I'd love to see them. It'll keep me going. Oh, um, yes, they're very clever octopuses. So they use, they can actually use tools. Did you know that? They can actually pick up. So when you've got two, um, got some, can I say, coconuts that have been left on the beach octopuses can pick them up with their tentacles and they use them so they'll carry them along with them on the seabed carrying them along just because they're useful to have so they can they can use those um coconuts to trap things they can help them to collect their collect predators to eat collect predators to collect, to collect their prey to eat or they can use those coconuts um, as something to hide into. So they squish themselves up. There's no bones in an octopus. They're invertebrates, so they can, no bones in there. So they can, they're all muscle and we can squish into the coconuts and hide. Um, so they can hide from predators in there as well. It's, they're just so interesting. Um, did you know that octopuses are mollusks? Which means that they're not really, well, that they're actually more related to uh, slugs and snails like you have in your garden. Which kind of makes sense really, doesn't it, when you think of the slugs and the snails and they're, they're all muscle, they're invertebrates, aren't they? There's no, there's no bones in a slug or a snail. Oh, it's nearly my little sister's birthday. Oh, happy birthday to your sister. I like to draw too, it's not just the kids. Uh, <laughs> yeah, have some happy drawing then, Laura. I want to see some of your drawings. Any grown-ups who wants to do it? Oh, so, oh this is so fun. I'm glad you're going to enjoy these ones. So, 26th of July, happy birthday to Iman's sister. So, are we all ready? Are we shaking out any weird nervous energy? I know I need to, doing it all for you guys. Get shaky sometimes. Have a drink. You've got a sandwich. Oh, dearie me. Let's get drawing today. We're ready. Whoop. Make sure we're all lined up and ready to go. Sorry, guys, for Instagram. Ah, oh, have we got Bella and Sophie watching on Instagram as well? Lovely. Right, okay then. So let's get drawing our octopus. It's a nice, fun one to get us started because it doesn't really matter. As long as it has the main kind of elements to it, it will look right in the end. you just got to have some fun with it. So pick the colour that you want your octopus to be. If you don't know yet, just, just go for a, get a, pick up a pencil or a pen, that's fine. And what we'll do is we're going to draw a big octopus head. Okay. Nice and swirly. <laughs> what do we think? So we've got our octopus head. That's the way our octopus is starting. And then we want to draw some really cute little eyes because we love our cute little eyes, don't we? Let's do, I'm doing two, just like that. Can you see? And then anyone who's not watched with me before, I like to add a little bit of shine on my little eyes by drawing two little circles on the inside. If you can't see that, that's just like that. That looks like another octopus, doesn't it? <laughs> two little circles on the inside and then colour all around those two circles to make nice shiny eyes. Oh, lovely. There we go. Get those nicely coloured in. Then we're going to get drawing some tentacles. So they have eight of those. Now what you'll want to do, this is a bit where you can have a little bit of fun. 
So they want to be nice and swirly and they can be as long as you like, they can be as short as you like. And just have some fun. This is a good way to get warmed up, isn't it? Nice swirly tentacles. So I'm going to start with one on one side. And I'm going to do another one on the other side. You decide where your tentacles want to go. You can copy me if you like. Or... Oh, I've gone off on, the, off on one there. Or... You can do your own thing. So as it's a side tentacle, I'm going to make it go off with a point between the tentacles. But on the middle one, I'll do something a little bit different. Now you can either draw them all. Oh, what have I done here? Oh my god. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can either draw them all coming straight off the front, or you can draw four at, four at the front like this. Let's just get another one drawn quickly. Whoop. This front one, I'm just going to give a little. I managed to mess that up, haven't I? Just making it a curve at the front, just from the way that you see it. Can you see what I mean? So this middle one, the middle two that we've got here, I've done it as a curve at the front and then these bits pointed because they're coming from the sides. So I've got four legs so far. Let's do some swirly legs. This is meant to be fun, isn't it? So just enjoy it. Maybe you can get started on drawing some little suckers on your tentacles. And that can be just little circles on one side of them. Because the suckers are on the bottom, aren't they? Sucker's going to be here. You just need to pick a pick a side of each tentacle and draw your little circles. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Give them a little point and a little curl on the end. And they don't have to be all the way down the suckers because you could just be seeing one side of the tentacle, couldn't you? Get my brother out of the way. You could just do dots if you like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, nearly there. How are we getting on? Oh, Izzy, age 11. Hello, lovely to see you. Holly's is great, thank you. Oh, good. Fantastic. Don't worry about it being perfect, because I bet you, once it's done, you'll quite like it. Why do I keep losing count of how many legs I've got, people? Hey? Why do I keep forgetting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one now. Where shall I draw it, do you think? Pick a gap. See if you can get a nice swirl on there. Let's you think yours looks great make sure you send it to me I'd love to see them love getting pictures from you guys just pop them in the comments on a, on a post that I'll post right after this it will be right after this I will post um, a picture where you can pop all your pictures in the comments so take, get your grown-ups to take pictures there we go right 
for those, because I know some of you like to write it next to them. How are we getting on? Mine looks like jelly. Well, they, do, they probably look a bit jelly-like, aren't they? <laughs> Wibbly wobbly. Lovely. How are we liking our octopus? They're all swirly and wiggly. I want a baby octopus. Maybe you could draw a baby octopus. I'm nervous to post my pic. Don't be nervous at all. Don't be nervous at all. Please don't. If you like, you can always send it to me as a private message. Just I'll see it if you like. I don't mind that at all. I just missed one though. There we go. So we've got our octopus. That's a good one to get us all warmed up. Are we ready? We don't need to see my octopus for you to be working on yours because you can do your own thing. Now, if you want to work on yours after this, that's absolutely fine. If you wanted to stop and then come back to it. But next... We are going to look at a whale. Right. So I'm going to get my blue out and the black. We've got another type of blue I could use maybe. Let's see how we go. Are we all ready to go? Oh, we've got Henna and Ted watch Henna and Ted watching as well. Lovely. Oh, Cora, don't worry that you're late. It's fine. A nice, easy octopus to draw first. So don't worry at all. You can catch up later. So we're going to start with our whale. So did you know... Okay, I'll get you started. I won't start with the facts yet. I get carried away, don't I? Let's start with our body of our whale. That's going to be a super cute whale, this one. So what we're going to start with is a kind of rainbow shape. And I'll just want you to go nice and straight forward. Just like that. So our the front lip is going to be here. It's going to have some water gushing out of it as well. Okay. If you like. So, did you know that whales are mammals? If they go up for air, they're mammals. And if they go, if they have gills, they're fish. That's the facts. That's not all the facts on the whales. Got tons of good facts on male whales. But just to get cracking, I don't want you to draw a little. We're kind of making this into a J here. Just a little lip there. Can you see? And then what we're going to do, if you watch me, we're going to be making him into a smile. And it looks like it's going to start with being sad, doesn't it? But it's just showing the edge of the body. With his nice big mouth here. So it's going to go up, down and up. We're going to draw a little bit of cheek. And then we're going to pop a little eye on. Just above that cheek. Nice sweet eye here as well. Again with the two circles inside a big circle and colour around those little circles. Oh it's going to be so cute. You can see how he's going to look already can't you? Let's see. Oh Annabelle age five. Lovely to see you Annabelle. Okay, so next part we have to do here is the underside. So it's kind of like the mouth turns into the body. <laughs> so what we're going to do is draw, we're going to kind of carry this on as like a circle. So if you imagine that as the top of the circle and this bit is the bottom. Oh, tell you what, I've forgotten about the bottom of the lip though. If, you, if you've not drawn it yet, just pop another little lip there, just the same. Is that little curve that you've got here. So it's like a sideways M. And then we'll carry our little circle around. 
just to the bottom. Okay, so stop there. And then we're going to draw a nice fin. So we're going to draw a wavy line from here, if you watch me, down past that line and out at the bottom. And then another to complete the fin just like that. Okay. Let's get a bit of a tail going on. So what we'll do is I'll, we'll carry on our body right for the bottom of the circle and then meet right back up here. Okay. Just like that. And then we'll pop a little tail in here. So I'm extending those outlines out a little bit if you can see. I'm going to draw two little leaf shapes. Ready? One. Two. <laughs> We're going to rewatch over and over again. Oh. Are we going to watch rewatch over the weekend with my niece? Well, lots of drawing going on. Oh God, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Lovely. So. We want to do a line now, just kind of showing the bottom of the body from the top of the body because they have a white underneath and a, a blue on top. So I'm just going to draw a line now from this part of the fin here. Can you see where I've started a little line? And it's going to go down and then stop just here. Ready? Nice swoopy line. Swoop. <laughs> that world's very cute. I'm glad you like it, Cora. Oh, don't worry, Izzy. It's been an absolute pleasure doing this for you. I'll miss doing it, I will. Okay. Then we're going to draw some little lines on the underneath of his mouth here. Now I'm going to use a lighter blue just because I don't want it to stand out too much. So if you're using pencil crayons or anything like that, maybe do this a little lighter. And they're just going to be little lines. Starting from there and just following the body. Can you see? Going a little bit smaller so they fit underneath the, fit, the fin. We don't want them going on top of the fin. Now these little lines are so that the whale can fill up their mouths full of water, about 50,000 litres of water get sucked into the whale, into the whale's mouth and then in there there'll be lots of the krill and fish and things that they can have and then what they'll do is that they'll flush out the water then, close their, close their um, now they don't have teeth, they have what's called a uh, baleen and it looks like toothbrush bristles. So it looks like little toothbrush bristles. Have you seen Finding Nemo? It's just like that. Just like the, the whale in Finding Nemo. That's a blue whale. And what they'll do is they'll close those baleen and then that'll act as a sieve. Like, you, like when you're um, sieving out uh, flour in your baking. Just get all the bits out. And those bits are the little bits of krill and fish that the uh, the whale collects up in its in its baleen and its teeth. They're not really teeth, but I'm going to call them teeth for the sake of this. And then that that pushes all of the water out, and all of the fish will go into the into the baleen, into the teeth. Isn't that amazing? Fifty thousand liters of water. Let's get drawing a nice. Little spout of water out of the top of our whale. So a little upside down rainbow just there. Any older kids watching, just have a little patience because I do have uh, some younger ones watching. So I do have to kind of explain a few extra bits. Okay. 
I'm going to start drawing some gushing water. Now you can either do it as kind of a swirly line if you like. I'll show you, this isn't the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to wipe this off afterwards, but you could do it as a swirly line if you like, just like that. Or the way I'm going to do it, just because I think it looks good. Just by doing lots of lines. All starting from that little spout and going outwards. If you draw lots and lots and lots of them, it'll look like real water. So just take your time. Colour in any gaps in there. So you think about the size of a blue whale to be able to carry 50,000 litres. Just to go, go give you an idea of how much 50,000 litres is, it's two litres in a big bottle of fizzy pop. Quite a lot. I'm going to add another blue in there just for fun. There we go. Um, so to give you an idea of the size of the actual whale, it's the size of three double-decker buses lined up end-to-end. -end. Huge they are! And the hearts are so big that you can actually drive. You know those little smart cars? Those little cars? You could actually drive a smart car through the main veins, main arteries, sorry, in, a heart, in the whale's heart. So just in the heart, those big Big main arteries in the heart, so you can drive a little car through them. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget the man. Uh, this is nice from Holly. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Lovely. So, how are our whales looking? Are they looking good? I think he looks pretty cute. That's right, whale. Oh, I tell you what, I've got another whale fact. Did you know that killer whales are not whales? Just write this out whilst I'm... Oh gosh, no, I'm writing it the wrong way. <gasps> I'm writing it the way that I can see it. Oh, goodness me. Do you know, I've not done that in all the time I've been doing these. Because everything's mirrored for you, so I have to draw back and write backwards. Um, what was I saying? So killer whales are not whales. Killer whales are actually related to... Dolphins and killer whales are nasty little creatures. I don't like killer whales at all. <laughs> when you find out more about them, they're little nasty things, but we like to, we obviously have to look after them. It's all the food chain, but there we go. So we already, we're all done with off with our, uh, where do you weigh whales? At the way at the railway station. Oh dear. Oh god. That was terrible. Oh, I'm glad that you like yours, Iman. I want to see. Oh, Iman, it all getting confused now. That was a terrible joke, wasn't it? Ted and Hannah. Or was that uh, Rachel coming up with that joke? There we go. So I'm gonna wipe this off the board now. We're we ready to go with our fishes. <gasps> Oh, fishes! Please, please, please send me pictures when you're done. I want to see them so much. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Oh, always get so hot doing this. Right, so let's start with, let's do a clownfish. Now I'm going to show you a really easy way to draw your fish to make them look really good that's not just because we know the easy way to do fish don't we <laughs> that's boring isn't it that's so quick and it's good if you've got do you know what they're really these types of types of drawings are really good if you want to do them small in the background because then you can just colour them in can't you maybe as little shadows but I'm going to show you how to do a really good one. So I'm going to draw a clownfish like Nemo. It's not going to look exactly like Nemo. It's going to look more like a clownfish, but it'll look a bit Nemo-y. 
<laughs> oh, I'm happy. Oh, good. Right. Okay, then. So let's get you started. So again, we are going to start with the body on our fish. And it's going to look like this. So we're going to start with the rainbow again. Nice big rainbow shape. Okay. And take the front down a little bit more. And I'm going to draw a little lip. Now we want to want him to smile a bit, so maybe bring that lip up a little bit. And then uh, I may have done that too far in, we'll see how we go as time goes on. Um then we are going to draw kind of the chin of the fish. <laughs> So I'm going to start by taking that, following that line that you've started there to make it a circle a bit further round. And we're only going to take it to about there. Okay. Now we're going to draw a curvy line, like a backwards C. So that line points in the middle of the backwards C. Can you see? C, C, C. C, C, C. Oh, I've done, a, I've done parrots in the past, Izzy. You'll have to look back through my past ones. Can anybody remember when it was that I drew a parrot? Is it for Pirate Week? Right, so. We're going to carry that C, that C round on the bottom. Can you see? C, C, C. Just like that. Join those two bits together. And then all we're going to do with this top bit is take it in a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then we are going to carry this line on underneath the belly just a little bit because we are going to draw another little fin. So this fin is kind of like an arm. That one is called the pectoral fin, any science fans. And this one is called the pelvic fin. This is almost like legs, I guess, if you were going to kind of put it into, uh, if you're going to relate it to our, uh, our own bodies. So that's just like a little oops, oh, turned around C. Just the back fin there. And then we're gonna follow that line round and then not too close to this one, we'll just take it up a little bit further. And what we're going to do is do a little curve back against itself like that. And you see, so then we're going to have a nice tail fin. For science fans, that's a caudal fin. And it's just going to be a nice big curl just like that. Okay, and then the top is our, I don't know, which one was that one called? That one's called dorsal fin. Is that that right? Caudal fin, dorsal fin. Boom. See? Husband, I'm learning things. And what we're going to do with this one is just take a little line up, add a little wave, and then take it down again. So we need to add markings onto our Nemo fish. Oh, we need to add an eye as well. <laughs> oh dear, he won't do very well without any eyes, will he? So let's get his eye done. Uh, let's see, so we want it to be... Now remember my little trick of kind of doing a little... Not actually drawing it but making a little circle with like in the air so you can kind of see where the circle might go. And that's where mine's going to go. Now you can either do it as a cute eye, like the way that um, I did it in the last few drawings. So little circle on the inside and then colouring black around the outside. Or to make it look a bit more Nemo-y, if you wanted to make it look Nemo-y, draw a little circle on the bottom of your eye with 
a little black pupil and you can colour in that little eye if I can manage this in the markers in orange okay so let's get drawing our markings so he has an orange face Nemo so let's get a nice orange face get your colour in there pens out if you've got any and get doing some colouring you see where I've drawn the line here so it's the top of the fin and before you get to the um, hand fins if you can but don't worry if it's uh, turned out differently they all look different these fish don't they all have different markings on them Clownfish can be a few different colours. They can be purples and blacks, and just got, just have similar markings where they uh, where Nemo has the the orange and the and the white. Do you think Disney are going to come after me? <laughs> Take my last video, Disney. There's no other way to describe cut clownfish to you guys other than Nemo. Okay, so we've got the front of his face. Now then, I'm going to draw a black line around that. Okay, and then we're going to add another black line really, really close because there's a little white line just around his face. Then I'm going to draw a wiggly line going down the body. Whoop. And then we're going to colour that bit in. I love making life hard for myself with colouring, don't I? I could have made that a lot, a lot slimmer. But here I am. Colouring like a trooper. You guys get um, your colouring all done now too. We're doing it all together, aren't we? Growing up to hope you have a nice cup of tea. Hope you're enjoying, or if you're having a bit of a colour, that's great too. I want to see some pictures. Okay, and we'll also colour in our fin here with a little bit of black marking just here, just on the edges of the fin to make it a little bit thicker on the edge you'll see. And then I'm going to draw a couple of little black lines just there. Okay, next line. How are we getting on? Whew, hot now. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yes, it is my last video. Well, it's my last live, my last regular live. I will come back later in the year with some, uh, some more. So put a, pop a black line around your orange line just here. And I'm going to draw a big fat white line here. And that's going to go. I'm going to do mine, just do, just do a wiggle. Okay. And then we're going to do another orange chunk. We're just up to the middle of the fin. There we go. And then add another little line and make another little white line. However it decides to turn out. And then we're gonna have a nice orange tail I'm not going to colour it all in orange because it's going to have a black bit on as well. I'm doing the orange first because otherwise I'm going to get black all over my nice orange pen. So I'm just going to quickly bob that colour on. Again, I could have done a much smaller tail than this. Don't know why I did it so big. But that is kind of what they are like. There we 
go, add a nice black edge. I'll tell you what, even when you do this for a living, you're still very critical of yourself. Right, here we go. Did you know that all clownfish are born boys? Fact. Actual science fact. All of them are born boys. Then, when the time comes, when they want to make some more little fishies, one of them will turn into a uh, the dominant female. The dominant, yes, the dominant female. Um, well, well, the dominant. No, can't think now. One will turn into a one will turn into a lady, pretty much, and lay some eggs. And they can't turn back into boys, but just one will turn into a into a girl. Let's add some little bits onto our little fin down here as well, and then some little straw. About our top fin. Oh gosh. Colour that in orange and do this pretty much the same kind of thing as what we've done with our tail. Colour that in orange. You could do it in the direction if you like, just like that. Yep. Yeah. And there we go. Then the female goes and lays the eggs. And then if that lady one goes away. <clears throat> um, then another one will turn into um, a lady and then it's all sorted. Science fact. There we go. How do we like our clownfish? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd love to do a drawing competition. Lovely. Um, mind blown. Goodbye, the other hamster's birthday cake is ready for Halloween and I'm delighted. I have no idea what that means. I'm so confused. Did you know um, clownfish live in coral reefs that sting other fish when they come near? That's very, very true in an enemy's. They, ha they have a, is it a symbiotic relationship, a, 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 a relationship which is Wrong way is mutually beneficial, but good for both. Good for the fish and good for the um, anemone because the anemone um, is kept clean by the clownfish swimming in and out of it. And uh, the clownfish gets somewhere to live. It gets somewhere to hide from predators. Oh, the fish also, the clownfish always also uh, lure in food for the uh, anemone as well. Fact. Fact, fact, fact. Okay, we're gonna draw one more fish. Are we ready? Shall I do a good fish? Yeah, let's do one more fish. Because then you can colour this one in any way you like. Okay. So we're gonna start the same way that we started our Nemo fish, but we're just gonna add different styles of so you can you can kind of freestyle on this one a bit, guys, or you can do what I do, it's up to you completely. So again, we'll start with, I'm going to make my body a little bit smaller this time and I'm going to leave space for a nice big tail. So I'm going to draw a little mouth and I'm going to draw a cute eye for this one. A little, little circle in a big circle, then colour around the little circle. Then we're going to follow that chin down. And for this one, I'm going to have a straight line for my fin. Ooh, squeaky bit, squeaky marker. Draw that bottom fin. Bottom fin, bottom of the fin. And then join that up just there. Can you see what I've done? Okay. And then I'm going to draw the bottom of the body. Then we're going to draw another little line. And we're going to join those bits up. It does almost look like little legs, doesn't it? <laughs> and then carry on the rest of that body right the way back. And I'm going to make a nice swishy tail for this one. So I'm going to do a swirly line. 
swirly, woo. And then a swirly line going up. When I was younger, I probably would have called this a princess fish. <laughs> These are the ones that look so beautiful. These are these are still just goldfish. You know those ones that are in uh, that you can can get hold get these in uh, the fish tanks at home. Maybe not quite as big tailed as this. Maybe they are. Maybe you've got some pretty ones. And just follow that line and make it go in at the back, just like the way a tail would. It's just a bit of a more fancy leaf, isn't it? I suppose. There we go. And then we're going to draw the dorsal fin, that top fin. Mine's going to go upwards quite a bit like this. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw some nice scales on my fish. So I'm going to make a little face here. Let's see, let's make my face this bit. I'm going to draw some nice scales. So I'm going to show you a good way to make it look iridescent that's a big word isn't it Whoa. but it's really really good if you just so to make our scales first of all you just need to do this kind of a pattern so if you're going to do it on oh gosh I messed that up um if you're going to do it the other way around think of it as m's Then we're going to draw an M from the middle of that row of that, that one to the next one. And those are the little scales, aren't they? So I'm going to do that over here and to make them look iridescent. Now, iridescent means that um, when the fish moves, they look different colours. Have you ever noticed that when you look at fish, they look like they're changing colour, don't they? You can create that effect with just your pen. So I'm starting with a little purple. Okay. Ooh. Can I stop? I keep forgetting because I don't want to mess it up. There we go. And I'm going to do it a little bit further up here and not so much down here. Just adding all those little circles kind of like half circles aren't they? And they don't have to be in the middle of each one either. You can change up a little bit and I'm going to change to a different colour. So I've started off with that one, I think I'll change into a little bit of pink. Just change colour. And do a little section of pink ones. Maybe some nice blue ones and the best thing is that you don't even need to fill the whole thing in if you don't want let's do some blue ones shall we have a drawing competition Let's have a drawing competition. And I'm going to pick my favourite drawing that gets sent. And the winner will get um, a signed copy of my book, of a um, pick a book, of the Dragonfly Pie or Shoe Foxes. In fact, no, new, new one, the new book. You will get a copy of the new book in November for free. It will be signed and I'll pop in one of my special, uh, what's it called? One of my special uh, bookmarks in there as well. Okay, so I'm getting carried away with my scales. So. Let's uh, pop another bit on, shall we? Shall we do? How are we doing? How are we doing? It's actually oh, no, no, no. oh, lovely. Girls run the world, don't they, Jeff? They do. Girls run the world, absolutely. 
Oh, you guys are crazy. Right, okay. So we're going to add some nice little details on our fish. Let's add some little lines in here, perhaps. Now we could make these look iridescent. Can you see them there? By adding in different colours here as well. Okay, so I will do a competition. Deadline, what should we say? Monday. So you can maybe have another little go. Could add a few different colours. And uh, my favourite drawing, I like to make life hard for myself, will get a copy of my new book in November and a bookmark in the meantime. Or if you would prefer to have one of my current books, that's absolutely fine if you don't want to wait. How are we doing? Oh, goodness me. Tell you what, it's a good job I'm stopping now because it is absolutely boiling and it's only going to get hotter, isn't it? So let's add some nice bits to our fin. Do you know, I forgot the pelvic fin, didn't I? Oh, I know it's there. There we go. We've got all the fins that we need, haven't we? Lovely. What do we think? Might add some little lines onto my tail. And we've got a nice fancy goldfish. And we'll just, I'll quickly show you how to draw some nice bit of uh, pond life to go with that as well. So maybe you want to grab a green and draw some nice, maybe this is seaweed, I don't know. I'm just going to go crazy with this. Nice spiky long plants, you can colour those in. Or you could have some that look a bit like coral, couldn't you? So again, with the spiky swirly, this, this, it's all about the waviness to make it look like it's underwater, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna grab my purple now. And we'll have some purple round, let's make the edges round. Can you see? I think you can see, I'll have a quick double check on the camera. Yeah, you can both see. Both, like there's two of you. <laughs> Facebook and Instagram. There we go. Some nice, lovely pond life. And what else could we have? Um, oh, we could have some, another type of green. We've got another type of green. We can have, if you draw a line coming up, Ooh, this one's been in a black, um, and then wibbly wobbly lines on, the, on either side, so it's like a wibbly wobbly leaf. Let's draw another one up here. Ooh, wibbly wobbly lines. Let's draw another couple of those up here, shall we? Oh. Goodness me. And then we've got our nice looking lovely goldfish. It's all ready to go. So, competition. So when's Monday? Monday is my oh, when is it? Oh, it's the day before my birthday. <laughs> so six the sixth of July. We'll have a little uh, deadline for the sixth of July. Send me your pictures by Monday. And uh, I would like to see those. And the winner will get one of my books, either my new one in November or one of my current books sent to them. Um, you won't be able to get the new one until November, though. <laughs> um, and um, a bookmark. All for fun. Let's see. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, thank you for doing the workshops during lockdown, Sarah. We've really enjoyed them and they've been a part of our homeschooling every week. Oh, my daughter's drawing and her imagination for story writing has really improved. Thank you so much. Oh, it's been absolutely my pleasure, Laura. Absolutely my pleasure. How do we get them to you? Just send me a picture. Just send me a picture in the comments. Um, I'll do, if, if you want to send a few different ones, that's absolutely fine. 
Um, so you could send me some after this and then send me another one before Monday if you like. Um, so send me multiple entries, that's absolutely fine. Um, and pop them in the comments of a post that I will put up after this. <laughs> um, so you can send me your pictures. Lovely, lovely. We'll miss your workshop. So thank you so much for bringing so much, so much creativity into our house. Alina, Mila and Jacob have really enjoyed your session. It's been so lovely getting your pictures as well, Angela. It's been so lovely seeing the kids' pictures. It's been lovely. Oh, I never read anything, so I won't bother. Don't be daft. Don't be daft. Could be this time. Oh, thank you so much for doing this. The boys have loved it. Oh, no, no problem at all, Chris. It's been lovely, lovely having you. Good luck with writing your new book. Thank you lots. Bye. <laughs> oh, we've got another few minutes. Got another few minutes to read another couple of comments. I'll miss writing and drawing with you, Henry. Thank you. Oh, miss you. Miss you too, Henry. Draw some bubbles. Oh, my mum says to draw some bubbles. Bubbles, my bubbles. Draw some bubbles, Sarah. Oh, goodness me. Shay has to draw some quick bubbles before my mum loses it. So bubbles, let's have some bubbles coming out of the mouth. A little circle. A little triangle coming out the side. <laughs> bubbles! How mad on Instagram she is. <laughs> Big thank you to my mum, my lovely, lovely mum, for all the help that she's done, that she's given me for during the workshops. It's been absolutely wonderful. And um, thank you very much. Can you draw anything to the competition? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep it for this. Keep it for the with the uh, fish theme. Your fish themed pictures from this workshop, okay? Um, thank you so much, Louisa says she loves you and all your inspiration. Thank you very much. It's been so so lovely doing all of this. It's been lovely. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. And um, I will get going. Um, get your competition entries into me by Monday. Send me or send me some pictures of what's happened today. Now, don't worry. I'll you know just just keep sending pictures. I just want to see the pictures. It'll just keep me going. Um, and um, I will see you very soon. Oh, Lana and Curtis, I'm so glad you've enjoyed it. Thank you. I hope you've got some lovely pictures from today and so been kept busy. Hope you've got a brew, pair of parents and uh, grown ups. And we'll say goodbye now. So. Bye bye everybody, one big wave. Oh, Zoe says she can't wait when we we're allowed to visit you again. And she says she was going to do the workshops with me. Oh yeah. <laughs> lovely to see you guys. Lovely, lovely to see you. Bye bye everybody.